wonky, aren't we? Are we having a bit of a wonky Thursday? There we go, we're all straightened up now. Well, it's lovely to see you all back on your mats. This is Jemima, if you haven't met us before, and my name is Emily, and I am a women's health physio here in Sheffield, and I work at a place called Katie Bell Physio and Wellness. Morning, Tim. Thanks for joining us. No, that's <laughs> I do know that's my husband. <laughs> Lovely to see you all. So, Jemima. Okay, so good morning. If it's your first time to play Pilates, what do we say? We're going to say hello yeah. and welcome. Here we go. We've got Mia and Mia and her daddy are ready. Great. Have you got your mat, guys? Have you got your teddy? So if you are new, if you are new to play Pilates, there's a few things they need to remember, isn't there, Jemima? What do we need? Teddy. You need a teddy. So if you haven't got a teddy or a brother or a sister or a grown up, go and get them now. Go and get them and bring them down onto their mats right now because Play Pilates is about to start, isn't it? Who have you bought today, Jemima? Lola. Lola. Jemima's bought her rainbow Lola teddy with her today. So what we're doing today is we're going to carry on our story with Morris, the messy magpie. Would you like to go and get the book, the, Jemima? The magpie, yeah. not the messy Oh, magpie. that's the name of the story, the messy magpie. So if you've not done Pilates with us before, there's just three things we need to remember. Number one, we need a nice clear, we need a nice clear space where you've got your mat and you've got space to do your Pilates and you're not going to trip over any Lego or toys or anything like that. You also need to just make sure that you're only doing what you feel happy to do. We've got some exciting moves to do today, haven't we? Yes. So some people might not want to do them, and that's absolutely fine. And last of all, we just have lots of fun, and we don't worry about getting yes. too perfect. I one of my favourite gymnastics Oh, moves. a favourite gymnastics move today. Don't worry, there's no somersaults involved. <laughs> okay, so let's pick up from where we were last time with Morris the Messy Magpie. Now, Morris liked to decorate his nest, didn't he? And he decorated it in lots of shiny things he found everywhere that the humans left behind. The only problem was the woods didn't think that it was very shiny at all. And what Morris learnt was how to tidy up and recycle. And the most wonderful thing happened when he did that. What happened to his woodland? Can you remember, Jemima? It was much nicer. Yeah. It became better again. Yeah, it got cleaned up and the water was clear and the flowers could grow and the trees were growing as well. It was wonderful. And Magpie so, decided not to use shiny things, to use nature to make his nest. Yeah, he used flowers. nature to make his nest. So, what we'll do is we'll come back to our story in a moment. Let's have a, a little warm up with our hello song. So, if you're just coming in to play Pilates, come on in, grab your mat, grab your teddy. Do you mind if you're going to stand here on the mat? And I'll come here behind you. I'm going to sing our hello songs. So you can hold on to your tethers if you want to, or if not, they can sit on the mat next to you and watch you whilst you get ready. Okay, so remember, with our Pilates, we're going to stand up nice and tall. We're not going to be droopy, so have a go at being droopy, and then have a go at standing up nice and tall, nice and straight like a pencil. Lovely. Okay, should we do our big sunshine hands, because we've got lots and lots of sunshine today. One, you're ready. Three, two, one, off we go. Say hello to the sun. Shining down on me. I love the sun because the sun warms me. Perfect. Okay. Now where are we going to go to my Can you remember? What we're going to grow? Corn. Yeah, we're going to grow some corns all the way down yeah, to a tiny corn. Yeah, and tiny, tiny seed. Off we go. Say hello to the corn growing just for me. I love the corn because the corn feeds me. Delicious, lovely. Right then, let's pop some stars into the skies. Now, nice big stretchy star legs and stretchy star arms, okay. Last time we did um, little twinkly tummies, didn't we? And we gave our tummies a little twinkle. Can you give your nose a little twinkly, um, a little kind of wiggle? Can you wiggle your nose like it's twinkling? What about your eyes? Can you flutter your eyes like they're twinkling? What about your ears? Can you make them flutter? Oh, that's very tricky, isn't it? Okay, let's put some stars up in the sky. Say hello to the stars, twinkling just for me. I love the stars because they gladden me. Great, wonderful. Last of all, let's say hello to each other. So hands up above our eyes and let's look around who's joined us for Pilates. 
Pilates today. Yeah. Say hello to my friends standing next to me. I love my friends because they stick with me. Great, wonderful. Let's go and say hello to everybody. Good morning if you've just come in. We're just getting started. Hey Amelia, hey Amber, good to see you. We're going to get started with our little snack and we're going to have pancakes Yay. today. Yeah, pancakes today. So if you haven't already, grab your mat and let's come down onto the floor and make some pancakes. So, when you're ready, do you want to leave those there, please? So come and sit down on the mat with me. Okay, so first of all, we need to mix up our pancake batter. So, shall we put some flour? Where? Did you get the bowl out? Yeah, my legs. If you haven't got your bowl out, just cross your legs and make a bowl. So let's pick up our flour now and then empty your flour. Flour, 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 flour. Now we need some milk, don't we? So pour your milk into the into the batter. Glug, 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 glug. And what about eggs? Have you done any eggs in there yet? No. This is how I do. I just crack it on the side a little bit better. Okay. So we, because we're play plus, we're going to do some big magic eggs. So pick up your big magic egg and we're going to do three tacks on the bowl and then we're going to crack it. We're going to go one, two, three and crack. Oh, lovely. Can you, can you stir your batter mix now? Do you want to stir that pancake mix now? Mix it round and round and round and round. And then let's get around the other way. Mixing, 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 mixing. Lovely. Oh, you know what? I think we're ready to cook those now. So let's come and lay on our backs and we're going to have our legs up. Oh, you go back down there, darling. Go back down to the end of the mat. And you're going to pop your pancakes here. This is going to be your little pan for you to cook your pancakes on. So can you swirl your pancake mixture around in the pan? That's it, give it a nice little swirl. And we're going to have to get ready to cook it and flip it in a second. So are you ready? Three, two, one. Shall we flip and catch? Off you go. Swirl it round. Swirl it round. Three, two, one. Ready? Flip that pancake and catch. Oh, let's do that again. Swirling and swirling. Swirling. Ready? Flip it. Last one. Swirling. 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 Ready? Flip it. And catch your pancake. Right then, when you're ready, you want to rock up into sitting. And that's it. We're going to turn and face the front for you. So, Got our lovely pancake now and it's cooked to perfection. Let's put some toppings on it. I'm going to have some blueberries. So I'm going to sprinkle blueberries all over mine. What are you having to mind, Mum? Nutella, blueberries, syrup, honey, chocolate sauce, okay. and almonds. And apples. Jemima's going to spend the rest of the plate glass and putting toppings on her pancakes. <laughs> I'm going to put some blueberries on. So when you're ready, sprinkle your toppings all over your pancakes. And then let's chop, chop, chop those pancakes up. Okay, when you're ready, let's pick up some of your pancake. And when you're ready, do you want to eat your pancake? Jemima, are you joining in? Nom, 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 Oh, well, I certainly feel ready to go on my Pilates adventure now. Right then, Jemima, shall we remind everybody about what Ann Morris learned? He, what was the first thing he learned to do was to clean and tidy up, wasn't he? And he did that with all of his friends. And we can be very clean and tidy in the way that we move. So Jemima right now is, oh, she's tidy. Can you show us messy again? Oh, very messy. Can you be clean and tidy again? Nice and upright, nice and still. Shall we play a game? Would you like to play our tidy and messy game? Okay, so the way you play it is first of all you come into sitting and you have, come here, that's it, nice and clean and tidy. So you sit up nice and tall. Stay very still. Very, very tidy. Wow, look at you. And then when I say messy, Oh, she's so quick. You're going to go all floppy and messy everywhere. So into tidy, please. Tidy. Ready, steady, messy. And tidy. And messy. And tidy. And messy. And tidy. One more time. Tidy. Oh, did I get you? Well done. 
So you can always remember coming back to your nice, tidy position, which is where your body feels very, very happy. Now, the other thing that Morris learned was not just to tidy up, but also how to recycle. So let's come back up again into standing like we did last time to our nice, big, strong legs. And we're going to do some tidying, aren't we? So we're going to bend down, we're going to pick up some of that litter, and then we're going to decide where it needs to go. We might put it in the box with the plastics. We might pick it up and maybe you're going to put it in with a glass. Metal. Oh, metal, yeah. And then we've got some paper. Yeah. Okay, so keep going. Sorting and tidying out all of those things that need recycling. Putting them all in the boxes where they should be. So we don't muddle it all up because then they can all be recycled and reused again. Perfect. One more. Let's bend down and let's tidy the last bit away. Well, this is wonderful. Morris's woodland was all tidy and they got rid of all of the mess and all of the litter. And look how beautiful it was. No more rubbish, no more mess. And you can see how what started to grow again, all the beautiful plants and the trees. And look, all the animals are back and they look so happy. Fantastic. Right then. So, shall we go and meet some of the animals that live in the woods, Jemima? Which animal should we meet first? Should we meet, say, rabbit. the rabbit? Okay. Now, Jemima has a very, very bouncy bunny. I am less bouncy. So, you can decide which bunny you're going to be. So, Jemima, come onto the mat for me. And first of all, I want you to see whether you can rock onto your hands and do just a little hop with your legs. Can you do that? In fact, Jemima, let's go to the end of the mat so they can see what we're doing. So I want you just to rock and hop your feet just off the floor. That's it, a little hop. And again, hop, just a little hop. That's it, can you have a go? And doing just little, little tiny hops. You might even want to hop to one side and then the other. You even hop all the way round in a circle. Can you hop, hop, hop all the way round in a circle? Now, Jemima is going to show you how to do some very big bunny hops all the way to the end of the mat. So I will hop, hop, hop out the way and you'll do some big bunny hops all the way to the end. Oh my goodness, that bunny is so happy that he's got a lovely woods to live in again. Go on then, let's see. So either your little bunny hops round in a circle like me or big bunny hops like Jemima. Wow. That is one big bunny hop. Now there's lots of animals that live in the woods, isn't there Jemima? So let's meet our, one of our favourites. Oh, okay, we'll go for the deer. So let's come up into standing. So, deers have lovely, lovely long legs. So I want you, Jemima, can you come over and join in? So I want you to have a little look down at your legs and see them magically turn into lovely long deer legs. So, nice big stretching out and stretching out. Jemima, would you like to take the picture over to the camera and point out to everybody which one is the deer? So deers are very, very beautiful. Perfect, thank you. And did you see how they have these lovely, lovely long, long legs? So let's turn our legs into lovely long deer legs. So can you stretch those legs out? Stretch and stretch and stretch. Now let's come to one side of our mat. You're going to come and join me. We'll take it in turns. Come and join me. And we're going to do some big deer leaps. So hold up, prancing nice and tall. And we're not just going to step, but we're going to leap and leap. Can you have a go, Jemima? And leap. Wonderful. Have a go at your leaping legs, those lovely long deer leaps. Nice and great. That's it. Now see if, now Jemima, come over here, see if you can jump and land really lightly and quietly. That's it. Come here, go. Yes, we're going to creep and hop and hop through the forest. There you go. And leap and leap. Silently. Yes, silently. Amazing, amazing. Because I don't think if you go out into the countryside or into the woods, if you're here, Oh dear, you're not going to hear. Oh yeah, they're very graceful. They leap and they land, leap and land. Lovely. Now, let's go back to our fox, Jemima, because we love foxes, don't we? 
There's lots and lots of foxes around where we live. So let's do our slinky foxes. So we're going to have, go on hands and knees, and then we're going to walk along. That's it. You're going to walk the other way. We need to make our feet our tails. Oh, we're going to make our feet our tails. So if your knees are happy to do it, maybe lift your toes up and waggle those knees. Be careful if you do that on a hard floor. It can be a bit sore. So carpet is perfect for us. A nice cushion. Lovely. Look at that. You seem to be a very angry fox today. Can we be a nice fox today? There we go. So slinking along, nice and happy. What a beautiful fox you make. Okay, now let's be a very small creature. All the way down here, please, your mama. We're going to be a little mouse. Can you come down very small? Be very shy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just look up. Is it clear? Look up at that. No, no, no cats. And no owls. It's owls that we're worried about. And okay. cats. Yeah, well, in the woods, though, owls might catch us. So we're going to do a little scurry, 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 scurry. Go and hide. And again, up we go. Scurry, 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 Shall we have a go? Let's do some twisty, twisty heads. Turning our heads, looking all the way around the room. Because they don't have neck bones. Oh my goodness. They are amazing, aren't they? All the way around. All the way around. Okay. Well, we can't move as far as ours can with their necks, but can we spread out our wings? That's it. Lovely. And now, can you look at your big wings? Wow. And again, up they go. Let's do another one. Whoosh. Lovely. Amazing. Wow. So many wonderful animals that live in the woods. Now, there's something else that seemed to, do, seemed to be very happy when Morris tidied up the woods with his friends. He also saw lots of plants growing. Now, we see plants grow for three things, don't we? We see for flowers and trees, and also for food. Jemima, would you like to come over onto the mat? Now, we've got a special room for you today. One of Jemima's favourite gymnastics. Now, did you know that Pilates is actually a combination of yoga, which is where lots of people think they recognise it from. Um, so it's yoga, gymnastics and martial arts, all sort of mixed together. And Jemima is showing you how to do a plough pose. And this is a great one for a nice bit of movement in your back, in your legs. Makes a really good but stretch. It is really hard. Yeah, so if you are finding it hard, Jemima's going to show you now. You're going to put your hands onto your back to support you. So fold your hands up and you can support yourself like that. And you can even bend your knees so that you don't have to straighten your legs. That can feel more comfortable. So that's it. Just bend your knees and go floppy. Do you want to come back down? And mums and dads and grown-ups, you're very welcome to give that a go as well, as long as you feel that your neck and you spine... You can do it. Yeah, I can do it. So you let me have a go. Every night, night in my bed. Do you yeah, we do have a play around, don't we? Okay, so let's have a little play. Oh, you okay on that? So we're going to go up and over, reach our toes, and we leave our hands behind. I know, I'm not as flexible as you, am I? All the way up. Can we do it one more time? Rolling down, up and over. No nice big do stretch. No one can do it. No one can do it. Amazing. So we have to plough. We have to sow seeds into the ground for them to grow. And that's a lovely thing we can do. Now, shall we grow some beautiful plants? What should we grow first? Should we grow something to eat or something beautiful? Something to eat. Now, we sing about growing something to eat, don't we? Um, in our welcome song. So we grow into corn. Maybe you'd like to grow into something else. And let's start off as a tiny little seed. You're going to be a little seed. Now, how small can you be? Now, I think you're very good at 
little welcome song, but I reckon you could be even smaller. So tuck yourself into a tiny ball, as small as you can possibly. Come on, smaller, smaller, tiny, tiny, tiny. Now you stay in your seeds and we're going to water you. So if you've got a grain up there, maybe they would like to pretend to water you. If not, I'm gonna come over to the, um, the screen and I'm gonna water you. There you go. Glug, 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 glug. Lots of water for you. There we go. Morning, Amber. Morning, Toby. Nice to see you joining us. Now, you've been watered. Shall we start growing? So when we're ready, off we go. Let's start sprouting up all the way. You're gonna use your hands to your moment and grow all the way up. And we're gonna pop out the soil. And here we go, let's grow nice and big. Now, Jemima, what have you grown into? Jemima's grown into an apple tree. Are these your apples on here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, the leaves. Amazing. Wonderful. I am going to grow into a carrot. Very, very crunchy, munchy carrot. What have you all grown into? Shall we try that again? Let's grow Add some, some more seeds. So come down into your little seed and this time see if you can grow into something else. Ready, steady, off we go. Ooh, up we go. Pop through the soil and bing. Now I'm going to be a big pumpkin this time. Nice. And big and round. What are you going to be carrot. tomorrow? A carrot. I really did it because I can go on my tippy toe, the tops of my um, leaves. Oh, gorgeous. Now there's some other things. Now Jemima showed us some good things there. We also see beautiful trees in the wood, don't we? So shall we try our tree pose? So what you need to do, that's it, stand on one leg. If you can, can you pop your other foot? onto your legs and preferably down on your calf or if you're really strong and flexible all the way up here onto your thigh. And you can't do any of that, just put your foot onto your feet. Yeah, top tip, just leave your toes just on the floor and you can make that little window like this. That's it, but try not to just rest your foot on your knee. Okay, now should we find some branches? Oh, lovely. Now, oh dear, here comes the wind. Are you going to sway in the wind? Woo! Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And now, shall we drop our leaves in autumn? And then let's grow some more in spring. That's it. Drop your leaves in autumn and grow some more in spring. Last time, drop those leaves in autumn and let's grow some in spring. I'm really flexible, I can do that. You are very flexible, aren't you? Well done. Now, I think there's one last thing that we forgot about that we saw in the book that was growing. Some beautiful, beautiful flowers. So we've got some lovely flowers in our garden and lovely, even more beautiful ones growing in the woods near us. You might not live near a wood, so maybe you want to think of your favourite flower. Maybe. Oh, Jemima, what are you being? Are you being a bluebell? Jemima's being a bluebell. And bluebells dangle over and all their lovely blue little bells hang down and that's what your mind's being. Tell what, I'm going to grow into a beautiful rose. Oh, beautiful. Like from Beauty and the Beast. Oh yeah, like from Beauty and the Beast. Or maybe this time I'm going to grow up and I'm going to go grow up into a sunflower with all my beautiful yellow petals. Gorgeous. Well done. Do you want to grow into one more flower, Jemima? I'm going to grow into forget a forget-me-not. A forget-me-not. Love it. I'm going to grow into a little daisy, so I'm going to be down here. I'm going to come here nice and small, and I'm going to look up at the sunshine, because they follow the sun. A forget-me-not is very small. Very small forget-me-not. Very go. Well done. Well done, everybody. Maybe now you'd like to find your teddy and a cushion, and come have a sit down with your grown-ups, or maybe a lie-down. And we've got a little adventure with an animal to, to finish. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, when you've got your cushion, you can either come and sit on it, or maybe come and lie down, and bring your teddy or your blanket if you want it. Isn't our world amazing? So many wonderful things that grow and live alongside us. Sometimes it's easy to imagine those things, because we see them a lot and sometimes it's hard because we don't see the trees or maybe we don't live near a woods. We all live in different places and cities and villages and towns and all of our worlds look a little bit different. But we all have the same imagination. So I want you to imagine now 
that you will get to turn into one of your favourite things that we've done today. So it might be that you choose to turn into an animal, or maybe you turn into a tree, or a flower, or maybe you create your own type of plant, which flowers and grows fruit and also is a tree and all sorts of things all at the same time. Imagine what it might be like to live like that. Maybe you're an animal with claws. Maybe you have furry skin. Maybe you have scaly skin. Maybe you have wings. Yeah, maybe you have wings. Imagine now turning into that thing, whether it's an animal or a flower. And imagine the sunshine on you. Enjoying, growing, and being perfectly beautiful, just the way you were made. There's lots of amazing, wonderful things out in the world around us. And we have the best part in it all together. We get to look after and love and enjoy it all together. So... I'm going to encourage all of you today to look outside your window and think about what you can do to look after and love the world around you just that little bit more today. And maybe, like Morris and his friends, you will see your world become just a little bit more beautiful every day. I hope you've had fun with Play Pilates today and learn all about those wonderful things that grow in the woods. We really look forward to seeing you next time, and we'll have a lovely weekend. Bye now. Uh, say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Nice to see you all.